this rack I basically saw I could use the 4 to open up the 7 right away. There really aren't good shots on the stripes to start with, especially with that ball, right, the 9 that I just opened up. Then I'll go ahead and use the 6. I'm going to kind of come over and hit the 1 and kind of open that up a little bit, give it a little more room to make it. And then with the 7, I'm actually, that 3 ball will go, but I'm going to go ahead and draw into that 9 and get there where I can kind of do something with that 3. Here's a good shot where I end up, I'm okay, but I really want to make sure I hit this first shot. Well, I'm going to shoot the 5 and I'm going to hit with draw. So really watch my fundamentals. I had a nice set and a pause and a finish and really concentrate on making that right. So here I'll just drift from the three over, be able to shoot the one up in the corner. Um, I don't want to get too fancy and get in trouble. With this one I can just do a little draw anywhere on this end of the table I'll be able to see that eight. Um, the eight is about an inch off the rail so it's easy enough to make. The second rack, I actually really kind of wanted to have solids, except for that nine ball sitting over by the three. Um, everything else being equal between the three and the nine, I figure it'd be easier to get shape on the three um, at some point. Because there really aren't any key balls over on this side of the table to get on the nine. So I'm going to go at it right at the beginning, hit the five, um, and see what I can open up down there. And I've got a couple more balls to work with, with the six and the two and the four. Um, to make sure I have something. I do look a little bit at that 7-1, but doing a combo is a little bit reckless. So right here at the beginning, I nudge the 3, it hits the 9, it opens up a window for the 3 to go in the pocket. So I get my problem out of the way right away. I just pop up, I'll be able to shoot the one. I get a little bit careless on this shot and start drifting down to the other end of the table. I could have got myself in trouble behind that 14 because um, I hit that 15 ball. But I have a shot in the seven, so I'll go ahead and cut the seven in, pass the eight. I follow up, I've got a shot in the two. I'm going to draw a little bit, kind of thinking I'm probably going to shoot the 6 next as it works out. Um, between the two, I kind of like the transition. If I shoot the 4 in this corner, I'll be able to go off that end rail just kind of right up to the middle of the table and shoot the 6 next. So I changed my mind on that. On this one, usually I'd, with the 8 ball in particular, I'd look to be shooting it in a corner. But this one's about as the threshold of what I'll shoot in the side. Um, a lot of times I tell people hey, the sides are for suckers, on a, especially on a belly bar box. But this one's easy enough to make it inside. Please like and subscribe.